This is a section of a lip which is lined internally by mucosa that is stratified squamous non-keratinized epithelium and externally by true skin. The core of the lip is made up of skeletal muscle fibers which are fibers of the orbicularis oris. Internally to the skeletal muscle fibers we find a few minor salivary glands that is the labial glands. Externally to the skeletal muscle fibers, there is a zone of connective tissue resembling the dermis with hair follicles, sebaceous glands and a few minor sweat glands. Now the zone between the mucosa and the skin is referred to as the vermilion zone or the transition zone or the red zone which the normal layman refers to as the lip. This is in fact a modified skin uh, because of the fact that it does not have uh, uh, hair follicles and sebaceous glands and it can be considered as modified mucosa in that it is keratinized. It is dry in appearance and uh, the superficial layers of the uh, vermilion zone are loaded with a protein called as elidine which gives a transparent nature to the vermilion zone such that the underlying blood vessels are very clearly visible through the transition zone. Because of this the vermilion zone appears pink, especially in fair-skinned individuals. Thank you.